Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Today our baby is four months old. I woke up early so I could get to the comic book shop. As of today, Marvel is taking back the Star Wars comic book franchise, and it's going to be canon! That means everything's official. Unfortunately, we didn't live anywhere near a comic book shop when I was growing up, so my exposure to comic books was extremely limited. I used to love going over to Nanny and Grandpa's because they had tons of comic books. They were old comic books, but comic books nonetheless. Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, a lot of Disney stuff. Tom and Jerry, Little Lulu. I remember one Christmas when an uncle gave me a sampler pack that was small but diverse. And through that, I was able to discover that G.I. Joe and Transformers had comics. I enjoyed reading all of the issues, but the gift did not propel me to start collecting comic books. I never collected comic books. I don't know if I have a good reason as to why I didn't get into comic books as a kid. It could have been because of the scarcity. It could have been because of the cost. Because I've always enjoyed pictures and books. To my knowledge, neither of my parents have ever been into comic books, so that likely had something to do with it as well. Think about that. The only reason I ever got into collecting Garbage Pail Kids is because my dad one night brought home a wax pack of the second series. That got me hooked instantaneously. Again, sometimes the greatest gifts are the ones you never expect. I probably should have left a little earlier than I did. Normally, I wouldn't be in such a rush because I try to order something online. In fact, I'm thinking about getting a subscription to a comic book for the first time ever in my entire life. This one, Star Wars. You know there's going to be a Darth Vader series of comics too? I'll subscribe to that. This first issue has a variety of variant covers, so it's a collector's dream come true and a nightmare at the same time. So I'd like to see what the shop has. And if you're not much of a nerd, I'm sure you're thinking to yourself right now, Worst vlog ever. And there's the son of Dathomir. I thought of something that I should have mentioned yesterday and I guess is relevant for today as well. I used to author a comic strip. I used to collaborate with a rather amazing illustrator and every weekday we'd lampoon something inside the tech industry. It'd be nice to reboot it, but I'm not sure there's much of an audience for it anymore. And in the next few weeks, I hope to spin up the Geeky Creatures Project with Kelly Ishikawa. With illustrations and backstories of robots, aliens, monsters, cyborgs, geeky creatures. We'll see where it goes. I have high hopes for everything. And there it is. Unfortunately, they didn't have any Vader variant covers, so I'll have to look online for those. And you're not going to believe what comic was right next to it. I found this new Vader mug, too! This is what they call a tower puzzle, and it was on sale for a couple bucks. And then to top it off, I found a couple of more fun things for some upcoming CPU episodes that have nothing to do with Star Wars. If anything disappoints me, it's that the comic book store didn't have anything special for the Star Wars comic launch. I thought they would, but they didn't. But even if they did, I'd only want the Vader stuff. And then this also happened. As I'm sitting outside the comic store waiting for it to open, I'm on my phone doing something, and a guy walks up to me. He's looking a little disheveled, and he asks, almost apologetically, can I use your phone? I need to call someone. I was supposed to meet someone here for a job interview. He flashes a, a rather shoddy business card. I didn't have a chance to read it, and I look back at him, and I think for a moment, I really want to help this guy. I want to be nice. He needs help. Or at least he's asking for help. And then I think, wait a minute. I don't know. And that's exactly how I responded. I said, I don't know. And he gets indignant. Like his attitude just jumps. He's angry at that point. And I think, well, I want to be nice. So I say, well, I can call him for you. He says, no, if you don't, no, no, no. And he kind of trails off and, and walks away. Well, here's the thing. He could have used my phone, legitimately used my phone to make a call that he should not be making on my phone that could get me in trouble or implicate me in something that I don't want to be implicated in. Or he could have grabbed the phone and ran away, which he could have done even without asking. The bottom line is you don't know who you can trust anymore. And that sucks. I really wanted to help the guy, but not in a position that I'm going to compromise myself. No. I'm still waiting for a new classic video game store to open up here, so I walked into a bookstore and found this at 50% off. Did not have it yet. It'll likely stay in the box. And this is also now mine. And I have you to thank for it. Since I asked you if I should get it today, you said yes. Well, enough of you said yes. I also stumbled upon this very soft Star Wars Vader fleece. And I started to wonder, what might I be able to make with that?
Well, probably nothing, because I'm not very crafty. Please don't ask what I was doing browsing around in a fabric store. You do strange things when you wait for comic book stores to open. And then, even when they are open, you do strange things in comic book stores, like buy comic books. You know, I bet that fleece could be turned into awesome pajama bottoms. Or even a house poncho for Diana. And so many other things! The retro game store was kinda cool. They didn't have an adventure cartridge in stock that was worth collecting, but it gave me an idea for what I might be able to do for some retro gaming in my other channel. I love retro stuff! And the bookstore was filled with all sorts of awesome beginner's books for kids when they're learning how to read, so I can't wait for Jedi to start. I grew up with the classics. We didn't really have any geeky reading materials, but now there's a lot of that. Scarcity, happily, is just not an issue anymore. We currently don't have any printed Dr. Seuss books at home, but they are available by way of audible.com slash lockernome, and that's the link you can use to get one free audiobook download for yourself, whether or not you want to listen to Dr. Seuss books. I do, because one of the narrators is Kelsey Grammer. Plus, audiobooks are hella more portable than printed ones. We didn't even have that option when I was a kid. If you wanted to listen to a book, you had to have a record player on hand. LPs. Albums. Vinyl! Suffice it to say, I am very happy that audible.com slash lockernome exists. That way, if we're out and about and Jedi wants to hear a story, it's just a tap away. I-R-U-L-E. You rule! At four months old. Gosh, seems just like last month you were three months old. Time flies when you're being cute. That's a kitchen robot. Would you rather have to always stuff your pants with hermit crabs before leaving your house, or have hairy gums? I think Daddy would be happier with hairy gums. Thank you, Steve, one of our patrons, aka Tech Zero, for sending Darth Maul Returns, the feature-length director's cut. Many people didn't realize that Darth Maul came back. Gran trabajo levantando ambas chicos. The pillowcases that Judy made for us are going to be used in our guest bedroom because we do have guests coming over and staying here frequently enough. And now we need to figure out where to find some kind of matching cover sheet, bed sheet, wrapped fitted sheet, and blanket to go over it. But I found fleece that would match. Oh, that would make a great fitted sheet. Oh, it'd be so soft. I don't even know the size of this mattress. I know. I think it's a full. Seems full to me. Yeah, because that's two twins. Two twins are full. Do you mean Luke and Leia? They're twins. I bet if we had the Star Wars fleece fitted one, you'd leave it on there. I might even sleep in here. <laughs> Afternoon naps, you know what I mean? Yeah, she's just like you. <laughs> she likes soft things. Yeah. Just like your daddy. <laughs> She felt it. I tried to lay her here. She didn't like it. But this, it's like, yay! I can stay here all day. What? Oh, just don't fart. I play with my feet all the time. <laughs> You're doing it too? <laughs> Look, I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Maybe her detector's broken. <laughs> you get to hang out with Daddy tonight. Mommy took Pixie to the doctor. We're going to see if she gets her cone removed today. I know. Today of all days. Dress up your pet day. She's tired, but she refuses to fall asleep. She's finally fallen asleep, giving me enough time to read this comic. <gasps> well, so much for that plan. I gotta go out and get Pixie more medication? Yeah, the good thing is this should be it. She should be good at this. And then when I get home, I can read my comic? Maybe, if you're good. I've been good. Yeah? How have I been bad? <laughs> I think you just think I'm bad. Mm -hmm. You're bad. Bad isn't good? Mm hmm. <laughs> I tried to install these plug covers, but I wasn't too happy with them. You know what we need? 
What? Another mirror. Do they look like my eyelashes? They look like eyelashes. What do we do? We use them on other outlets. Okay. You smell good. Don't tell Diana, but I had just farted. And I left my wallet at home. Accidentally, of course. But I should be able to pay by way of NFC or NIFCA. Sometimes technology ruins the day and other times it saves the day. Maybe not. Getting the drug for Pixie required me to show him a driver's license that I didn't have on me. So back home we go. There are your lottery winnings. Oh, they're nice and crisp. Money, 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 money. I was very embarrassed to exchange the tickets for cash and almost walked away. Why? Because as soon as he presses the button, the cash register sings, dur, 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 dur. and I'm like, it's like two bucks. <laughs> It really doesn't? Yeah. I've never heard of that. It's because we've never won. You know we have a rice maker, right? Yeah. Okay. Four months old, four months old. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I bet you're still tired. I bet you're still tired. Take a nap. Take a nap. For dinner tonight, Diana's prepared some... I don't know. That was some damn good. Why do you keep saying that? Because I don't know what it is. Oh. <laughs> that was good to sit down. Done. This was a good read. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, the storyline takes place in between A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. And this issue included a teaser to the upcoming Darth Vader series, too. Where Darth Vader goes to Jabba's palace? Hell, I even loved all the ads. And I paid for this. That's how you know you appreciate something. Thanks again for taking the time today to like and share our videos and for interacting with us everywhere. We'll see you tomorrow.